it's your boy DJ Academics, and you guys ever seen The Wire? It's one of my favorite TV shows. If you don't know, at least I think that's the best crime TV show ever, ever produced. Even better than Breaking Bad, even though others might disagree. Now, there's a scene in The Wire where Marlo Stanfield, who's a notable drug dealer, takes a candy from a store intentionally right in front of a security guard, and a security guard watches him do this. So, the security guard confronts him outside because he knows who he is, and he says, Listen, man, you gotta have some type of respect. You can't have things one way. Well, needless to say, just like in The Wire, Marlo did have it one way because that guy was shortly killed afterwards. Now, these Chirac savages, they're living like their life is a mix of Season 4 of The Wire and GTA 9 Chirac. Except, these idiots think they could respawn after they die. Now, what do you do if you're a police officer and you see a Chirac savage commit a blatant traffic violation right in front of you? Do you try to pull him over? Eh, uh, well, this one cop did, and obviously he fucked up, well, these two cops, because a Chirac Savage was pulled over by the police, and what did the Chirac Savage do? Shot both of the cops. Now, we gotta keep in mind that these Chirac Savages are constantly on the hunt for ops. They don't have no time for no moving violations, no type of petty tickets, no seatbelt tickets, no, no being on your phone tickets. They don't have time for that fuckery. Now, I will say that the police did suspect them to have a gun, which leads me to think why wasn't more precaution taken, but regardless, that's what happened. Apparently, as soon as the cops got out of their vehicle, the Chirac savages start busting on them. One was hitting the leg and one was hitting the torso. Now, the cops did fire back and they hit the Chirac savage and also hit a woman that was in the car. And of course, the savage was rushed to a hospital and he's now in surgery, which still just dumbfounds me. These niggas are signing up for death. Why the hell are you still bringing them to hospitals trying to save their lives? I'm completely shocked that these police officers in Chirac are not killing these fools after they're in shootouts with them, and especially if they got shot. Secondly, before, if you were a police officer in Chirac, you were just in a shootout with a Chirac savage, why would you even call the ambulance? Let that fool bleed out. Let him go where he's destined to go anyway. But anyway, surprising enough, or actually not even surprising enough, the shooting took place across the street from an elementary school. We know how Chirac savages get down. Churches, elementary schools, nothing's off limits. Guns get busted any goddamn where. Now, if you guys are keeping tally of this Chirac fuckery, this is a second related cop incident where the savages are shooting at the cops within the last week. So, obviously the cops are outnumbered, outmatched, and obviously the savages are willing to lose their lives over nothing. So, the cops can't keep up with the savages of Chicago. You guys get in the comment box. Let me know what you guys think about this next story. It's your boy DJ Academics, and I'm out.